It's a sight some thought they'd never see again. The brand new Lotus preparing for a new Formula One campaign. Just a few weeks ago, there was a real threat the famous Norfolk racing team would have to close. There was no sponsor, and key personnel had left in numbers. But the new 102B testing at Silverstone last week is the car Lotus are hoping will lift them out of the gloom. There's an all-new regime in charge, hungry to restore pride in an ailing team. I think things are very difficult, and uh, we were very pleased to be able to, to get a package together that allowed us to continue in December. And it's made it very tight in preparing for the 1991 season, and I'm sure that will hurt us in the first few races, but uh, we're alive and kicking and planning to come back strongly. Lotus have had to prepare for 1991 from scratch. A new car, new engine, the Judd V8 replacing last year's Lamborghini, and new drivers. Martin Donnelly is making a remarkable recovery from that horrific crash in Jerez last year. He hopes to be back by April. A tall order, but Lotus have made him official number one driver, and they say a seat is waiting for him when he's fit and ready. For now, Julian Bailey, who tested the 102B last week, has another chance to shine in Formula One. New number two for Lotus is Finland's Mika Hakkinen, on his way to the British Formula 3 title in car number two here at Snetterton last year. He was expecting to make the natural step up to Formula 3000 this year, then came the call from Lotus. I was very surprised because I was prepared myself to go 3000 this year. And uh, suddenly it was the, uh, I heard I had a driving team Lotus Formula 1. It was of course a big, big surprise, but I was very happy and very pleased. Despite their recent problems, Team Lotus still commands tremendous respect in motor racing. Enrique Scalabroni, the new man in charge of research and design, has two idols. Italian pioneer Enzo Ferrari, whose team he's just left, and the late Colin Chapman, founder of Team Lotus. It's Chapman's inspiration and drive that Lotus need to recapture. When uh, somebody is really very, very important for a team, and some person is so big and so genial like uh, Colin Feldman, it's very, very difficult to replace him. And then uh, it's the same case, for example, if you see Ferrari, Ferrari disappeared, and it was very difficult to, to found the same image and the same man that can push the, the team forward. It's 13 years since Lotus won the last of their seven world titles. Their last Grand Prix win was in 1987. So, will 1991 see Lotus once again challenging for the podium? These people can put the team Lotus on the top, and, and that's definitely going to happen, I don't know when, but soon hopefully. We are working for that, and uh, we need time. I think there's a, a fairly low expectation from probably a large sector of the, the racing public as to what we will achieve, but um, I also think we'll, we'll surprise them what we can achieve.